Hey there, it's Seb Fry, and it's time for another exciting episode of Seb Fry TV. Who was it who said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself? I think that was uh, Winston Churchill, and he said that during World War II, you know, which was a very, um, you know, scary time, literally, for uh, the people of England. You know, they were getting bombed and rocketed to death all the time uh, by the Germans. Uh, things weren't looking so good, uh, you know, for them for uh, some period of time there. Uh, but, you know, most of us don't have anything like that level of fear going on in our lives. But there's all kinds of little stuff that comes up every day that stops you from doing things that you, you know, should be doing, right? Like, um, I don't know, if you are uh, in sales, say, you know, like uh, you might be afraid to pick up that phone and make that call because of fear of rejection, for example. There's all kinds of ways that fear shows up in our lives. Um, but, you know, uh, the reality is, is that on the other side of that fear is everything that you want in life. Um, you know, I was just reading about how the California real estate market now is predicted to uh, go into decline next year in 2019. There's going to be a 0.2% decrease in median price. Well, uh, you know, who really cares about that? But there is going to be a 6.9% decrease in the number of sales, right? Which means that I'm looking at a pay cut next year, right? My pay is going to go down, you know, 6.9% uh, at least uh, next year. Well, that's actually not true. Uh, you know, uh, if I were to sell the exact same homes, uh, you know, I would sell 6.9% fewer of them. But the reality is, is that I can't afford to be locked up by the fear, right? I think that a lot of my colleagues right now are just kind of freaking out about a changing real estate market, um, you know, and, and the uncertainty that brings, you know, and uncertainty brings uh, fear. Uh, but, you know, I saw an interesting thing um, the other day. I think it actually was today, as a matter of fact. Um, I said, you shouldn't be thinking about what's going to be changing, but what's going to be staying the same, right? And most things will stay the same. And if you want to have some kind of stability in your life, you need to organize your life around the things which you know, or are pretty sure anyway, aren't going to change. I and mean, you have that kind of predictability and stability in your life, it's a lot less scary in the future, right? Because you know a lot of things are going to be the same, right? So take advantage of those. Don't let fear stop you. Just keep on going. And you know what? Tomorrow, the sun is going to rise and then it's going to set, right? That's just how it goes. There are certain things that you can count on, that you can bank on, that you know are going to happen. So just plan for that. And all the rest of it, you know, hey, who can say, right? You just have to roll with the punches and take it as each day comes. But don't worry. It's all going to work out just fine. So uh, that's my self pep talk anyway, <laughs> because, uh, you know, we are looking at some uh, some interesting times, I think, coming up here in the real estate market. All right. That's it for me for today's episode of Seb Fry TV. Uh, do me a favor. Would you please? I know I may, you might be afraid to do this, but go ahead, share this with somebody that you know, uh, you know, retweet it on Facebook or sorry, sorry, retweet it on uh, Twitter and and share it on Facebook and uh, maybe on uh, on Instagram or who knows, whatever the kids are doing these days with social media. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll yak at you again real soon.